it, it, you're okay. What I mean by that is if I change these questions and say I click whatever, it doesn't matter what I clicked, I just did it out of blue sky. And uh, so uh, this is the voting problem, e-voting problem, and I've done this at the end, at, uh, by, it's a long one, long one, and and I put again $8,000, but it's more, I mean, you lose more than $8,000 if voting risk e-voting problem, you, know, you lose a whole election sometimes, you know, that's, I, I, the cost, I don't know what to put for cost, well, you can put anything you like, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, so, at the, uh, you know, at the present time, state of Alabama is like working on this. They have a commission for eight hundred fifty thousand uh, dollar grant uh, that uh, University of Southern Alabama and Mobile got. I know you're not familiar with those names, universities uh, in the South, and I know I'm sure you know Auburn University's football team, or, but or the University of Alabama's, but uh, there are pretty uh, strong uh, colleges in this in the South who work on these topics. Okay, you calculate the risk. And it's 50% risk. You want to optimize this e-voting to down to 30%. Uh, okay, you do your optimization. You come up with results. Now, the reason I'm work doing this e-voting risk is because it's very recent, and everybody's worried about electronic electric machines. Okay, P the value is not a reasonable target. I think I did something wrong. 50. Per okay, <laughs> I put 50 again. Well, I should have. I don't know. I thought I put 30. All right, here's 30%. Because from 50.63 down to 50 didn't make sense for the pro pro problem. All right, please try with a different target. And okay, I I don't know what's going on. But oh, uh, well, what I'll do is I'll I'll work with the other one. Something uh, this this worked this morning. Uh, I was, but not doing it now. But uh, okay, the uh, I will just show you the privacy portion. Privacy. Uh, okay. Suppose uh, no. All right. Suppose I want to do the privacy part. Privacy. Uh, I I add I load something which is continue a previous survey that there is none, and uh, start. Okay. So I can click all these and come up with a privacy result, right? Well, since there is none here, uh, I will go back to uh, security A because I, I I've been talking about the privacy so much that I, I need I want to show you one uh, privacy questions. All right, select a file to load full example privacy. Sorry, full example. Okay, again with my Sand uh, clock uh, cursor, which I never had in my. Did anybody have sand clock as a cursor before? Well, I'm having it now. So it's a new. Uh, okay. Well, uh, all right. Now I don't have something ready for you because it will take. It, sh it will take time, but let me go to. Uh, all right. Let, let's see. Uh, for example, back, select the file. All right. Well, I don't have a privacy example which is clicked. Well, actually, that brings to the that brings the problem that brings the demo to the end. So what I did today with you, and thank you for your patience. What I did to do together with you is I started showing you. I, I started my talk with the uh, bunch of 35 slides where it shows you from the beginning to the end how the project got started, how, how what kind of developments it uh, enjoyed, and uh, then uh, how we uh, incorporated the game theory, uh, usually used in business models to a security, uh, well, they're not starting to use game theory in security problems. But when you look at all these books, they're all theoretical. I mean, there are a lot of theory in it, and you gotta be a mathematician to understand what that gave. Here is a layman's result. You know, as an engineer and statistician myself with you know different backgrounds, interdisciplinary background, I am acting here uh, as a person, hybrid person, to see the results from an engineering viewpoint as well as from a statistician viewpoint. So, and then uh, you can come up with these results. Okay, I showed you a demo on 
uh, you know, security, e-voting, and privacy, and where you not only can change the questions, nature of the questions, and threats, and all that kind of thing, countermeasures inside the program, you can come outside and do an XML and come back. Okay. So, well, uh, the with the limitation I had today with all these sad clock, which is kind of limiting me from acting comfortably, I think that's the best I can do. Uh, but I will ask around why <laughs> sand clock would appear instead of just a good old uh, cursor. Uh, All right. Let's see. No, it's it's. It, I thought no, it's not there. Uh, okay. So uh, I am done. And this is all I will present today. I may have confused you a lot, but all through my out my student life, I've been confused many times. And I think it's like a maze. You get out of the confusion if you would like to. You know, if you like the topic, if you want to learn about it and are interested in it, you, you, there's always a way. I, and uh, so uh, if you are interested in acquiring a book, the book is in your library, I'm sure. You can go there and there is uh, a CD-ROM at the end. The CD-ROM has all these uh, results there and you can use them. As well as uh, you can go to my website, and uh, which is uh, given uh, in, in the in, in, in the, as well as in the back of the book, and it's also in the uh, uh, papers. Thank you again for your attention. If you have any questions, I'm ready to answer them. Uh, I believe you are most of you from engineering and as well as business or science. Like uh, we have here about how many? 25 people? Am I right? 20? <laughs> we have people from pretty much throughout campus, so a wide variety of distance. Right. Do you have any questions? Thank you for your attendance. Any questions that I can answer for you? Yes, sir. Yes, you got the uh, calculation, then the, the you calculate how much percentage for the final result, right? Say that and again, I'm sorry. At the beginning, I saw you, you input some data like 50%, uh, 30%. How you work out is that a kind oh, of Oh, that's data? a guesswork. It's a guess. Okay. Say, say that your result is 60%, you want to go down to. 30%, 20%, it's just whatever you want to. It's not a cut and dry. It's whatever you want to bring it down to. But in, in that sense, you just what do you want to put in that 50%, 30%? Uh, because that data should be coming from certain calculation and much, much be objective instead of subjective. Okay. All right. No, it's subjective because you're sitting at your house. And your computer risk analysis gives you 55%. You don't like that. Wouldn't you like to have 5% risk? Okay, you write 5%. Why should anybody tell you what to do? And if you look at the 5%, you find that emo enormous amount of money you have to spend. Well, if you can't bring the cost down and the, the companies will not cater for you, then you go for a lesser percent, like 20%. It's like this, that a lot of people are trying to lose weight, right? And can they go from all the way like 300 pounds down to 150? No, they go step by step. It's just like that. And uh, so I I nobody will tell you how much weight you want to lose except yourself. So it's according to your resources, money, and, uh, and others and limitations, you will decide for you, your yourself. Maybe I was not able to make this clear at the beginning, but this is a, a kind of a, a input that you yourself or the bank. If the bank wants to reduce it from 30% down to 10%, the bank will decide what to do. Okay. Uh, what we put at the very beginning is customer guess, customer wish. It just automatically carries it, you know, 50 or 30. Right. I hope I've been able to answer your question. A little follow-on question to that. Have you thought about, so, so this is based on, you know, the, the percent, the, the likelihood of a particular event happening. Or a particular adverse event happening, the, that percent. Okay, likelihood. Yes, there's a probability law happening here. We have yeah. a probability. Uh, we have the law of probability here from yes. the beginning to the end. 